I in your presence. And as we come, we plead earnestly the merits of the precious blood that was freely shed for us at the place called Calvary. And Father, we bring to you this great house and all its needs. We bring to you this land of ours that we love. And we ask this morning that once again that your eyes will be upon this land. That you and your grace and mercy if you examine the Metropolitan Church, we are a Reformation Church. Men and women from every walk of life, from every part of the religious divide. In a sense, we are different because uh, our methods are different, our people are different, our services are different, but nevertheless, we love every one of them in Christ. For your lovely Son, the Lord Jesus. Bless him. Uh, I believe that the Bible is the rule of faith and conduct. To go outside the Word of God is to go outside the will of God. Uh, the Word of God is the final court of appeal in every aspect of our lives, and I preach this to my people today. I am the worst businessman that God ever created. I haven't a clue about business. And this is the thing, John, that troubles me. Whitewell has got so big that I've had to try to be businesslike. And I have uh, succeeded by trial and error. I'm just a plain preacher of the gospel and want to remain that for the rest of my days. I love preaching the gospel. I'm a preacher uh, and that's all I can do well and as the boys very affectionately and jokingly say to me, Bishop, stick to the preaching, and I try to do that. I think when it's all boiled down, people have needs. And where people believe their needs can be met, they will come. You may be seated then, Pastor McConnell. When they come to this house, they hear repeatedly <clears throat> that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's the theme of this house. Hear me tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That's what's wrong with this nation. The church cannot speak out anymore. Neither is she listened to anymore because she is not separated and dedicated to her Lord and to his kingdom. Christ meant us to be in this world, but not to be of this world. He meant us to be pilgrims and strangers, sojourners passing through, telling them... I believe that the Catholic Church's structure is not based upon the Scriptures. But having said that, that doesn't mean that I don't love Roman Catholics. I love them with all my heart. Many Catholics have come into this house and have heard the gospel and have become born again of the Spirit of God and have joined this house. This church is not political. This church is spiritual. Hear me, Christian. Every time you deny Christ, every time you fail to say no to sin in the office, in the factory, in the university, in the school, you are the Catholic Church has, has tried to reach out, but again, 
There is no way that they are going to compromise in any one of their doctrines. If we believe that Jesus is the Son of God and is alive in this 20th century, we have nothing to fear in this world, not even death itself. There's love in my heart, buckets of it. It flows for the Catholic people. The Catholic people are my people. I was born with them, brought up with them. I love them in Christ. But again, the system in which the Catholic people belong to me is an unscriptural system and therefore is not signed according to the doctrines of Holy Scripture. So therefore, I would say that the Catholic Church could not be to me a sister church. Am I looking at a mysterious young man tonight? Am I looking at a mysterious young woman? Am I looking at a mysterious lady, a mysterious man who secretly follows the Lord Jesus but never yet has come out and said, I belong to him. He belongs to me. I love him. when a man can say from the depths of his heart and when a woman can say from the depths of her heart do you see him the Nazarene I love him he can say that he's born again we're not fleeing we're not running away we're running with you are you ready? Everyone on the last verse. Oh.